In this video, we will discuss the top 10 rumors that link COVID-19 to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. On the 5th of January of 2020, 59 people in the east central city of Wuhan in China were reported of showing pneumonia-like symptoms with fever and coughing that was reported to be from an unknown virus. The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, avian influenza, and a few other influenza were ruled out by infectious disease experts in China and by the researchers at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. The World Health Organization released a statement that the symptoms of this illness were ones that were common in respiratory diseases. They also issued an emergency preparedness report that same day, dictating ways to control the outbreak. By the 8th of January, authorities had ruled out SARS, or SARS-CoV-1, which had also had an epidemic in the same region in 2002 to 2003. By the 9th of January, Chinese state media declared the existence of a new type of coronavirus, the same as the SARS virus, that was responsible for the illness of dozens of people. Hectic research was done by researchers and its genome was studied. Of the patients tested consequently, 15 turned out to be positive for this new virus named COVID-19. After two months of this information coming out, there have been emergency measures taken by both local and global governments to limit the spread of this disease and the human cost. The delay of the Chinese government in releasing information, however, has sparked rumors about how the virus got to infect humans in the first place. There have been numerous ones like, a Russian news network, Network One, claimed that the virus was created by the US government as an attempt to dismantle their economy or to sell them vaccines, one where COVID-19 was caused by radiation wave caused by 5G internet, newly instated in Wuhan, and one where the disease was supposedly caused and spread by the Mexican brand of beer, Corona Extra. 10. The Wuhan Research Lab is in very close proximity to the seafood and live animal market nicknamed the Zoo, where cases of COVID-19 first came up. On February 20th, a researcher at the lab supposedly reported the head of the institute for selling off experimental animals to the market. Number 9. This picture was circulated heavily in social media as a thermal proof that China was secretly mass-burning bodies affected by COVID-19 in an attempt to silence international criticism. This picture is a satellite image by NASA showing the weather patterns around the region in China. Senator Tom Cotton, a Republican from the state of Arkansas, spoke out in front of Congress and Fox News that the virus was a bioweapon created by China against the U.S. and accidentally released it on their own people. He claimed that China wanted to harm the U.S. due to strained foreign relations between the countries. Number 7. An interesting theory had come up linking Wuhan with a 1981 novel, The Eyes of Darkness, by Dean Koontz. This novel had predicted the pandemic through a fictional disease called Wuhan 400 that killed 100% of those infected by eating away their brain tissue until their hearts stopped. Number 6. The index or primary patient, Patient Zero, was researcher and graduate of the Virology Institute and had worked with infectious diseases while she was there. What is appealing about this theory is that the patient never visited the market where the other cases were being reported. The institute, however, has stated that the researcher had left the city in 2015 in good health. Number 5. This is a more serious theory than the rest that had come up in the initial days of the pandemic where former Israeli military intelligence Danny Shoham claimed that the lab was involved in covert medical military research. He was a molecular microbiologist who was learned in Chinese biological warfare. He says that the lab was already doing research on the SARS virus and that coronavirus was held within. Number 4. Stephen Wesley Mosher, a social scientist and president of the Population Research Institute, claimed that the virus had been leaked from a lab, based on the reaction of Chinese President Xi Jinping to the news of the virus. Xi Jinping had called forth an emergency meeting to discuss the measures that the nation had to take and the exchange of information to other countries. His idea was that China had created a bioweapon in their lab and it had accidentally escaped the lab and led to an outbreak even going so far as saying, although it might have been true that China did delay in releasing crucial information to the rest of the world, there was little to no hard evidence that it was a deliberate invention of the Chinese. Number 3. On the 29th of January, financial news website and blog Zero Hodge claimed on Twitter that a researcher at the WIV had deliberately created this pathogen and released the guilty person's contact information and asked their followers to pay the researcher a visit if they wanted to know about the pandemic. Twitter later disabled the blog's account for breaking the rules of use of the platform. Number 2. 
This isn't a rumor, but a concern raised by the U.S. molecular biologist Richard H. E. Bright back in 2017. He brought to attention the previous cases of the escape of the SARS virus from the other Chinese laboratories and so didn't support the idea of the Wuhan Institute of Virology studying SARS. Number 1. Finally, at the end of our list, we have the accounts of misinformation being spread about the virus in state-sanctioned media and news circulations in China itself. The journalist Josh Groban and a review of state and social media in the earlier parts of March by the Washington Post brought to light a disinformation campaign going on in China where the anti-American conspiracy theories along with unofficial statements by authorities and the environment of distrust and fear were being created. These conditions were being used by the Chinese government to draw the attention of citizens away from the bad handling of the initial outbreak by the government itself. While this can't be called a rumor, as there have been definite attempts by the Chinese government to keep information hidden. The pandemic of COVID-19 has left us in dread of what might come tomorrow. But right now, we can just focus on the good parts of our lives like watching more videos like this on our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And do hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this from us.